Good morning. Welcome to Edisat Network. Friend, you know, we have organized a series of lectures on services marketing and having discussed the uh, study lecture introductory part of it, today we will move further and will try to understand the service product development and design. And for this uh, discussion on this very topic, we have in the studio the same resource person, Dr. Ravi Sankar. He is a known name in the field of uh, management education and has done a lot of work in the area of services marketing. He has written a number of books and the one book is very popular is Services Marketing, the Indian Perspective, which is very popular in the, uh, among the students of manage, management students. And the other book, so one is uh, also I would like to tell you is the Managing Distribution is uh, quite popular among management schools. And uh, Dr. Ravi Sankar in the last three decades has served in different institutions and has uh, contributed in a different capacity. Uh, the institutions like um, MDI Gulgaon, School of Management Studies, Indira Gandhi National Open University, uh, IMC, and presently he is a professor of uh, uh, services marketing or you say management in the in Indian Institute of Foreign Trade, one of the premier institutions of the country. And uh, Dr. Ravi Sankar is also a member of different academic uh, council and academy, on academic board in different universities and institutions, the, uh, not only in India but the also uh, the uh, institutions of the, um, uh, other countries. So I think his knowledge and experience and the wide uh, experience and exposure to different institutions and uh, 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 students across the world will help us to, uh, to understand this topic and give kind of insight how to take up this uh, service product development and design in a new way. Uh, so on your behalf, I welcome him for the EduSet lecture on this very topic. Welcome, you, sir. Thank you. Uh, very good morning to all the viewers. And uh, yesterday we were discussing the uh, basics of uh, uh, basic fundamentals in terms of uh, uh, marketing of services and we identified uh, different P's in the context of services sector. And these P's were the you know product, price, place, promotion, and then we added some more positioning, delivery processes, people, and productivity and quality. So over the next few lectures, we will uh, att uh, give attention to each one of those one by one. And today we are picking up the first P of the services marketing mix, which is uh, service product. Now, service product, uh, uh, the whole concept is the way you develop a physical product, even a service market offer can be developed. It can be developed, it can be produced, it can be uh, marketed, it can be delivered, it can be consumed like an object. Now, this is an entire concept behind the, the service product, that the service product can be developed, produced, marketed, delivered, and consumed like an object. Uh, this is where we say that uh, uh, like a physical object which you consume, like Pepsi uh, or a soft drink you, which you consume. Similarly, services can also be consumed. Uh, you, you use the services of uh, an airlines, you use the services of uh, a bank, you use the services of a library, you use the services of uh, uh, a restaurant, you use the services of a, a movie theater and so on. So it goes uh, um, uh, without saying that uh, yes, services can be produced like an object. But then what is the difference? Now the difference is uh, as we go along, we need to, uh, and uh, this whole, whole thing we have divided into different lessons uh, so that each point is very clear to you. The first point I want to bring home is that we develop services around a core and the core has different levels like primary and auxiliary. Now these uh, 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 augmented uh, uh, products and the auxiliary products actually they create the differentiation. The idea here is that whenever you are developing a product you must develop the auxiliary dimension, dimensions in such a way that the people find it beneficial. Uh, look at this paper clip. Why we buy paper clip? We buy paper clip to keep the papers together. There are so many options you have to keep the papers together. You can use all pin to keep the papers together. You uh, can use a stapler and put, put uh, you, with the use of a stapler, staple pins you can put to keep the papers together. You can uh, take a punch, make a hole and uh, use a tag to keep the papers together. 
but what is the need the need is that you want to keep the papers together without spoiling them and that is the need that without spoiling them you want to keep the papers together now in that need this uh, this paper clip comes very handy and that is where we say that you understand consumer need in enormous detail the 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 there are a lot of papers you have for example your property documents uh, for example your degree certificates you don't want to make a hole in the degree certificates and put a tag there to keep the degree certificates together you don't want to spoil them similarly if you use um, all pin it is likely that it from the corner it may get torn uh, after some time and therefore you use paper clip but the problem with the paper clip is that after one month uh, there is a rust mark which comes on the on the paper so some of the degree certificates you don't want to have the rust mark uh, uh, and therefore uh, if we go back to the slide uh, may i request the studios to show the slide yes so uh, somebody thought of giving a plastic coating now that plastic coating actually lives up to your uh, requirements it that doesn't spoil the paper that that little thing which you have done otherwise if you uh, 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 look at the core is uh, what is the core core benefit core benefit is to keep the papers together primary characteristics is a metal wire of a particular thickness if the metal wire is uh, as thin as like your hair it may not hold the papers together and it if it is very thick uh, st uh, steel rod then obviously you it is meaningful meaningless if you use the material like aluminum it will be very soft and it will not hold the papers together so you use steel uh, and steel uh, is uh, quite firm and therefore you use uh, steel the wire of a particular thickness but somebody thought of putting the uh, you know metal wire uh, on the metal wire a plastic coating and that is where uh, if you read it says selection and blending of products primary and auxiliary dimensions into a unified mix that this plastic coating goes so well with the metal wire it provides such a great consumer benefit emphasizing on a particular set of consumer benefits and i think in this is what we have to look at whenever we are looking at developing services uh, think in terms of the unique benefit which people are seeking seeking if you look at weddings today in india the wedding has become an experience i was uh, quite surprised to read a news item which says that people are spending per guest as high as 5 lakhs of rupees this is the amount people are spending per guest for a wedding now in 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 some cases in 5 lakhs you can marry five people but here they are spending 5 lakhs per guest they are going for a holiday they book hotels in goa or singapore or somewhere else and the entire family from the groom side and from the bride side they shift there and then the marriage is solemnized in a very exotic uh, and uh, you know so because marriage is a uh, you know uh, once in a lifetime kind of an uh, experience which happens in everybody's life almost the people's life so this is what i'm uh, uh, i just want to begin with as a lesson one that is you think in terms of expanding going beyond and i personally feel that typically when you look at uh, pure tangibles perhaps don't exist and major tangibles with minor intangibles this is actually the product marketing domain typically you are buying a car but car is coming with guarantee warranty which is intangible but minor intangibles uh, minor major intangibles and minor tangibles that is something which comes in the services marketing that actually you are looking for experience Uh, and wedding is an experience or uh, amusement park is is an experience or a wildlife sanctuary is an is an experience and they are the tangible things they they are uh, actually uh, in my uh, are in minority and pure intangibles to my mind again don't exist we uh, even spirituality uh, it is being tangibleized 
our religion is being tangibilized with the use of colors with the use of signage with the use of dress code and so on so this is where i call pure tangibles even don't exist even in in the case of religion faith and so on the 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 lesson here is that whenever we you are dealing with some market offers which are uh, uh, which are tangible dominant the focus of your marketing program should be to give an intangible image and uh, the reverse actually is done when you are dealing with intangibles like services that focus of the marketing program should be to give tangible evidences and that is where uh, i think this whole debate on tangible and intangible ends the second thing which i want to emphasize is the product hierarchy understand the hierarchy in enormous detail and here i would like to take the the example from the goods marketing and then go uh, beyond it uh, for example uh, there is something called a saw a product item then there are uh, product line like there are different types of saws there could be a saw to cut to cut uh, wood there could be a saw to cut uh, uh, iron or uh, iron pipe and the third could be a saw uh, which uh, uh, you know people uh, the butchers they use to cut meat uh, and do the dressing of the meat so these could be the product uh, lines which are saws and then the product class you put them into a product class which are tools or uh, implements different kinds of tools people use for different purposes uh, in fact i call that uh, uh, there is a need in the need family the it the, these levels are actually uh, seven it starts from need family then product family then product class then product line then product type and then the brand and the item actually to understand competition for your market offer it is important to to see that what need family it caters to and it is likely that in the need family uh, there might be different types of need families your item is catering to let's take the example of a computer a pc a computer is is uh, catering to different kinds of need families it's an item it's a pc but it is being used by by a studios like ours where we do digital editing on computer it might be used in a in a printing press computer is used in a printing press as a pre printing uh, unit where they do the page maker in the page maker they use the page they make the page page layout in the so the, there is a need family to do the page makeup in a cyber cafe a computer is used for communication and they use the pc uh, where people come and uh, use uh, email though that is now shrinking a computer is being used by a chartered accountant to analyze data uh, of uh, the financial data of a particular company and do the financial analysis and look at the tax liabilities of the company a computer might be used by um, by us uh, which i'm using actually in right right now uh, where i prepare a powerpoint presentation and then i communicate with you through that and you can use computer for a variety of purposes and that is where we call the the market for computers is huge because it caters to so many need families in fact this is what is the first is a very important factor which you need to see that particular item don't say coke is competing with pepsi and pepsi is competing with thumbs up it's not like that it's it's competing in a need category why somebody is drinking coke or pepsi because the person is thirsty so quenching thirst is the need family and in uh, there could be some people Uh, maybe like me if i am thirsty i would prefer to drink water rather than anything there could be someone who may like to drink 
lemon tea from the vending machine uh, to quench thirst. So we find that in the need family, uh, there are so many items which can come in. And therefore, to understand competition for your product, to understand competition for your market offer, it is very important for you to understand which need family it is catering to and what kind of product families and what kind of product class are actually coming into that. For example, there could be uh, product family soft drinks. Now, their soft drinks can be a variety of types. There are some types of soft drinks which are aerated soft drinks. There are some types of soft drinks which are fruit juices. There are, so, they, you know, they, they go into different kind of categories. Lesson 3, we now look at line and brand extension. And in the services sector, also that is possible. Now, for, for understanding line and brand extension, you have to remember this half line when a company launches a new product. When a company launches a new product, there could be four options. When a company launches a new product in the existing product category with the existing brand name. Or the company may launch a new product in the new product category with the existing brand name. The third option could be a company may launch a new product in the existing product category with a new brand name. And the fourth option could be when a company launches a new product in the new product category with a new brand name. So friends, whenever a company launches a new product in the existing product category with the existing brand name, it's called a line extension. There was a time when close-up toothpaste was launched, it was red in color. From red, it came to green, which was mint. Uh, and then they came, you know, they launched uh, close-up blue, which was menthol. So every time they launch new, it is line extension. So when a company launches a new product in the new product category, new product category like close-up mouthwash. So mouthwash is a, is a brand extension. So when a company launches a new product in the new product category with the existing brand name, it's called brand extension. And uh, when a company launches a new product in the existing brand category, that's called multi-brand strategy because each brand is positioned separately. Like uh, cigarette companies, they may have 50 to 60 brands in the market. And then when a company, finally, when a company launches a new product in the, in the new product category, with a new brand name. It's, it's a new brand in any case. Maybe two, 20, 25 years ago, 24 years ago, Tata's launched the passenger car. Uh, 15 years ago, Tata's actually launched a new passenger car. Uh, and uh, they were not in passenger car market. They were only in the commercial vehicles. And then they came into the passenger car and they launched Indica. And Indica became a new brand in any case at that time. So lesson four is that we take this understanding to the services sector, line and brand extension in the services. Now, in the services sector, we can, we can talk about different kinds of extensions like major service innovations, new core products for previously undefined markets. So in the services sector, the new core product for previously undefined market. Uh, a new service people have launched. There was a time when when pager was launched. Now, pager was a new thing. When pager was launched, it was a new thing. So that was a serv major service innovation. Or cable, for example, which started uh, 25 years ago. It was a new service that um, through the cable, uh, somebody, uh, a cable operator was showing you movies. Um, uh, and you can see the movies in your home. Uh, major process innovation, using new processes to deliver existing products to offer extra benefits. So the, the ATM is nothing but a process innovation uh, in the retail banking sector. And it was a major process uh, innovation. Why? Because retail banking services became available from 22 hours per week to 24 hours per day. Uh, through this process innovation, 
by integrating information and communication technology, retail banking services were available for, for 24 hours. The earlier on, if you have to uh, go to the bank, uh, the banks were operating for 4 hours between 10 to 2, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. 4 hours Monday to Friday, Saturday 10 to 12, 2 hours. But the ATM is actually a major process innovation and nothing else. Then we look at product line extension. Add addition to the product, addition to the current product line. Uh, what is product line? When a company launches a new product in the existing product category with the existing brand name. So that is called product line extension, line extension. So addition to the current product line. Uh, for example, uh, some of the institutions, they launch new, new kinds of, they have already an MBA, MBA in um, MBA, then they launch MBA in insurance, MBA in retail management. So these are all uh, line extensions. And the product line extension is alternative delivery processes. Uh, for example, my institute, uh, we have a program called executive program. And that program also is available through the VSAT mode in uh, 40 odd cities across India. And you need not to be in Delhi. You can be in any of the 40 cities where you can go to the designated center in that city and uh, take the classes on Saturdays and Sundays. So it is nothing but a process, uh, process line extension. The fifth option is supplementary service innovation, adding new or improved facilities to enhance elements. So supplementary service innovations that you add new or improved facilities to enhancing elements. For example, uh, a restaurant which is uh, doing very well. It could be the owner of the restaurant may decide to do the renovation and give a theme to that renovation. And with that theme, uh, it becomes far more uh, unique. And finally, we look at style change, visible changes in service design and script. Uh, for example, Air India had gone for a style change. Uh, rather than using Centaur, they decided to use the Rising Sun. It is a style change. They uh, And basically, they want to, uh, Sun uh, symbolizes India. And um, uh, I mean, a lot of uh, Indian emperors, they use the, the sun as a sign for their empire. So, uh, and we use also this expression called Surya Vanshi. So, uh, uh, we have called sun as a god and people worship God. They, in the morning, they offer um, uh, gel, water. Uh, to the God, every festival, every um, uh, Surya Grahan or every um, uh, Kumbh, we offer water to the uh, sun. If a solar eclipse is a major thing. So uh, looking at the importance in, of uh, sun, uh, uh, that's where the uh, sun was used in Air India. So that's a clear example of style change. And I call, uh, now these are the six uh, extension, uh, extensions, uh, line extension, supplementary extension, style change, uh, process innovation, and so on, which is possible in the services sector. Let's go to the next, which is lesson five, understanding the market offer as a bundle of goods and services. What you offer in the services sector is a bundle. Now, uh, remember this because uh, later on uh, in some of our subsequent uh, interactions, we will talk about price bundling uh, because there is a price for the bundle. So understanding the market offer as a bundle of, of goods and services. Let us take an example from the manufacturing sector. The manufacturing sector, we have picked up three cars, uh, Ford Endeavor, Alto, BMW. You know, uh, for the core benefit, the core benefit which people are, are, are seeking, the benefit which people are seeking. Uh, for example, a particular family may say that, look, we don't have a car, let us buy Alto 800. There might be someone who has started earning and he says that uh, I would buy 
fourth endeavor and there could be a third person who may say my car is giving me trouble let me now buy bmw so what they are buying that the core benefit is actually the same and the difference starts coming at the other five levels and in fact philip kotler it has given this wonderful example from the services sector also which we will discuss subsequently in the next 5 minutes so what i'm trying to emphasize is that at the core level all market offers are alike for example core benefit is personal transport personal transport personal transport in all the three cases which i have taken ford endeavor alto 800 and bmw the basic product is also it's a metal box on wheels it's a metal metal box on wheel and again the bmw is also a, a shell which is on 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 wheels and that is where i call the the difference is hardly any whereas somebody who is buying a ford endeavor what are their expectations load bearing uh, speed uh, you know excitement somebody who is buying buying alto 800 is looking at fuel efficiency economy someone who is buying bmw is looking at nothing but reliability prestige the point i want to emphasize here is at the core level the all products they look alike the difference starts coming in when you go deeper into the level 3 level 4 and the level 5 let me explain these levels then it will be very clear uh, take for example when you are traveling you take a room in a hotel why you take a room in a hotel because you want to take rest and you want to sleep will you be happy in a hotel where you can't take rest will you be happy where you just can't sleep throughout the night because the hotel is on the road side and the road remains busy throughout the night so the core ben- benefit is the fundamental benefit the consumers is seeking or buying and that is where i call that uh, it's very every hotel uh, um, uh, you know aims to provide nothing but rest comfort what is the basic product of a hotel basic functional attributes like room bed bath if the bedroom doesn't have a bathroom attached then obviously the it is not a hotel it might be a guest house it might be a dharamshala expected product whenever you are taking a room in a hotel what do you expect you expect cleanliness you will look at certain uh, level of hygiene a big towel quieter location and so on so set of attributes or conditions the buyer normally expect clean room large towel quieter locations and what not so this is what could be the expectations how do you augment the fourth level is augmentation that meet the customer requirements beyond expectations there are so many hotels in a city which one you will stay i remember uh, i once went to africa and found a particular hotel in a city uh, there uh, which was showing uh, indian channels two indian channels and i started liking that and in my subsequent visits also i was staying i preferred that because they were giving me uh, uh, two indian channels uh, on the television and i could see the indian channels uh, in that hotel so that meet the customer desires beyond expectation that is how you augment it could be prompt room service it could be the music it could be ten- television channels it could be check in check out it could be the aroma it could be the atmosphere they they create and the potential product the possible evolution to 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 distinguish the offer in the city of delhi there is, there are some hotels which accommodate heads of government if there is a president visiting a president of some country is visiting india uh, he will stay there or prime minister of that country uh, is coming and st- they, they stay there in fact there are uh, uh, special, special block 
uh, in a particular hotel in Delhi where heads of government stay and that got evolved over a period of time. There is another uh, which is very centrally located and where the corporate heads they stay. So that is a possible evolution. There is a hotel uh, uh, in the Connaught Place area which is a 100 year old hotel and they have renovated it and all foreigners they prefer to come and stay in that hotel because they get a feel of the Indian heritage in that hotel. So that is the possible evolution of the product. So these five levels are very very important. In fact you need to understand how do you differentiate yourself because at the core level you are just the like the others at the basic level also you are just like others but what could be the possible expectations of the people in fact that is where lar large number of groups the hotel groups they thought of creating a separate brand like ginger hotels like uh, fortune uh, hotels which give you a hygienic room uh, no carpets no um, uh, very expensive uh, kind of upholstery or bed covers or any of those things but very high level of hygiene and you know one functional restaurant and uh, these chains have become very popular in India. There is another concept which we say that uh, they call molecular model and the molecular model says that think about your market offer as a molecule. The way there are atoms in a molecule, your service offer is like a molecule in which you have to give attention to every single atom. For example, if you call yourself as a world class airlines, you have to have very good aircrafts. You just cannot have third class aircrafts. And that is where the vehicles which I am written here, they are very important. If you want to say that you are a world class airlines, you should also offer the world class food and different kinds of food you should offer to your guests because you may have that kind of guest traveling with you. Pre and post flight service, for example, a post flight, baggage handling. Imagine somebody is traveling. He gets a seat of his choice. Food is very good. The air hostesses looked after the guest very well. The check-in was very kind, very smooth. There was no problem. The good seat was given. Food was good. Every the flight took off on time. The flight was very comfortable. They didn't go through the rough weathers. And the flight landed on time. Everything was perfect except that your baggage didn't come on time your baggage was not there in that flight, it was not loaded. You waited, waited for an hour and finally you are told that your baggage will come next day in the next flight. Will you be happy? Do you think any passenger will be satisfied if the baggage comes 24 hours late? So obviously the, uh, the, the point I am trying to emphasize is that think in terms of your market offer as a molecule and give attention to every single atom and if possible add a new atom in the entire so as to differentiate from the rest. Uh, one particular airlines in India they started giving uh, free porters at the airport. The airline staff was working as free porters, coolies or porters and they differentiated themselves from the rest and a lot of people, young mothers uh, or children uh, who are traveling alone, they, they travel like that. In fact, I remember uh, even I used that airline so many times when my, my, my child used to travel uh, on a, when he was uh, you know, young and small and he was traveling alone. Uh, I thought that I will hand it over to a porter of that airlines and that porter will take his charge and take him to the uh, aircraft. So that is a molecular model, lesson six, stages of development of a new service. So now uh, let us look at uh, if you have to develop a new market offer, what are the different stages? 
The first stage is consumer benefit concept. Think in terms of what benefits consumers seek. Understand that in enormous detail because if consumers don't see a benefit in you, you may not really exist. And that is where uh, prioritize those ben benefits. So carry out a detailed study in terms of what benefits people are seeking. So consumers seek particular benefits. Uh, it could be that some consumers may not be able to articulate the, what they seek very clearly. And also the benefits sought may change over time. And finally, measurement of importance, relative importance of those benefits. And I, 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 let me give you the example from the civil aviation sector. A particular airlines uh, carried out this study and they found out that majority of the people who are traveling, they don't want anything other than one, that is on time arrival. I must know when I'll reach the destination so that accordingly I fix up my meetings, I plan my day. And one airlines, they, 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 they started doing it. So you develop stage two is actually service concept. What benefits the service organization should offer? So this particular airlines, they said our main service concept is on time arrival. And they focus their entire marketing program on on time arrival. To do so, they might have added some more time to the total flying time. Even if the aircraft leaves five minutes late, even if the aircraft is delayed because of some reason or the other, it arrives on time because the total flying time, if it is two hours, they put two hours, 15 minutes, at least psychologically the consumer feel is arriving on time. I am told I will arrive in the city at 11.15 and I arrive at 11.15, I know that I can fix up my meetings in the afternoon and I can do that and I can take my evening flight and come back to the city. So service stage three is actually the service offer, the service element tangibles and intangibles. For example, this particular airlines, they say we will not give those kind of tangible things like pillow that uh, blanket we will not give. We will not even give hot food. We will not give food to everybody. If you want to buy, you can buy the food from us. But it's, uh, it will ensure that you reach your destination on time. Then service form. In what way and how the service will be delivered. It's very important for, for companies to understand in what way and how the services will be delivered. A lot of educational programs are delivered through the online mode. Lot of programs are delivered through the VSAT mode. Lot of programs are delivered through the correspondence mode. And there are other programs which are conventional programs which are delivered through face-to-face -face mode. In fact, the, the National uh, Open University, uh, they looked at the, this need, the te technology-driven educational programs and they felt that uh, brick and mortar educational institutions uh, take a lot of time to come up because a huge capital investment is required to have a brick and mortar educational institution. But uh, digital education uh, can, can be facilitated with the growth in information and communication technology. Today, a lot of educational programs you can see uh, even, uh, you know, the, this program uh, which we are uh, airing, it will be put on Twitter, Twitter and uh, you can access it on your mobile phone and you can receive the program. So this is what, it's not brick and mortar, it's uh, technology driven. And that is how we call it, uh, uh, see your service in, in terms of in what form your service will be delivered. And then you look at the service levels in terms of quality, in terms of technology, in terms of functional dimensions, in terms of volume, in terms of flow, in terms of timing, and so on. Then we look at the fourth, we call it uh, service delivery systems, which is uh, using benchmarks for service offer. Uh, develop people and facilities. In fact, in, in the healthcare sector, they are using benchmarking. 
uh, I was quite surprised in a private in a private hospital in Delhi, and I was told by the doctors there that it's a benchmark here that any patient who comes to the casualty ward must be handed over to the concerned medical department in the first 40 minutes. Now this is a benchmark in, in, a, in a private hospital. All accident cases, all emergency cases which come to the casualty ward, the, their, uh, their diagnosis is done, the tests are done, a decision is taken that it's an orthopedic case, so it should be handed over to the orthopedics department. It's a neurology case, so it should be handed over to the neurology department. It's a gynecology case, it should be handed over to the pediatrics or the gynecology department and so on. So this is how we, they look at benchmarking is, is critical. So companies have to develop the service delivery systems and finally manage image and communication to support and enhance perceptions of the service offer. So friends, these are the five different levels of, of the service market offer. If you have to develop a new service, uh, understand those five levels. And the lesson five, uh, lesson seven, is that you see it in the totality. Uh, your service offer is actually an offer like this, the way diagrammatically I try to put it. Let me uh, go one by one and explain the, the five things which I have written here. I need not to explain the core which I have already done. I will explain to you facilitating and support services. These are the two things I will explain. And then I will explain the other three things, accessibility, co consumer participation and interaction and finally communication and image. So coming to the first, which is uh, facilitating and support services, uh, don't go by the commonsensical or the dictionary meaning of facilitation or support. In the marketing dictionary, facilitating services are considered to be the mandatory services in the absence of which the core can collapse. Facilitating services are those services which are mandatory in the absence of which the core can collapse. For example, a hospital. In a hospital, the operation theater facilities are mandatory. If the operation facilities, operation theater facilities collapse, hospital may collapse. Lab facilities, pathological, radiology, all those labs are mandatory. Otherwise, the hospital services will collapse. A patient comes, you can't do any tests on the patients. What kind of diagnosis you will do? What kind of treatment you can do because without diagnosis? So facilitating services are those services in the absence of which the, the core can collapse. Support services are standalone services. Uh, 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 a medical shop in a hospital. A medical shop in a hospital is a support service. A cafeteria in a hospital is a support service. They don't enhance the consumption of the core. And that is the difference between the facilitating and the service. Uh, service. The second thing which I want to emphasize of, on the three things, customer participation in the services sector, uh, services are, are such where the customer must participate. For example, if you are sick, you go to the doctor, you have to tell the doctor what is wrong with you, where you feel the pain, what is happening. Uh, so how well the customer is aware about the role in service delivery. Like you go to a restaurant, you ask what the, 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 the order taker, uh, if there is a particular dish, which is the, the name is written, but you don't know what, what, how that dish is prepared. You ask the order taker, what is this? And then the fellow, sir, this is uh, this, cooked like this. These are the herbs, these are the gravy, this kind of gravy and so on. So customer participation is a must in the services sector. So here, three things are important. 
how well the customer is aware about his role in the service delivery, how well the customer is willing to share information, and finally, how well the customer is willing to use service equipment. Uh, so these are the, the other is accessibility of the service. Whether you are able to enhance the accessibility of the service, for example, number and skills of people, number of people and the skills of people. Only then the service is acceptable, working hours. There was a time in the city of Delhi, if you have to book a railway ticket, you had to go to the railway station at 4 o'clock in the morning to stand in the queue. In the morning at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, the counter used to open and the seats were sold out uh, by 10 o'clock, within an hour. So this was the, the scene with the railway services. Accessibility was so poor. Today, you can book the tickets online and accessibility has increased because of integration of information and communication technology. Working hours, time used in performing various tasks. In some organizations, the people are very slow in doing the job. In other organizations, people are fast in doing the job. Location of the outlet, exterior and interior of the outlet, the number of consumer simultaneously involved in the process and the quality of consumer simultaneously involved in the process. Number of people and quality of people. Imagine you go to a restaurant where the restaurant is totally vacant, there is nobody. Will you be feeling, uh, you know, encouraged to eat in that, dine in that restaurant where there is no one sitting? Or you will you dine with your family in a restaurant which is over, overcrowded? So that is where the number of people uh, is important, quality of people. There are so many cinema houses in the city of Delhi. And I remember I was not visiting every cinema house. I found only a few cinema houses where I thought people from my category may come. And in fact, uh, thanks to now the uh, PVRs and the multiplex, uh, but at a time when there were no PVRs or multiplex, in the city of Delhi. Uh, I used to go to only a few cinema houses in the city of Delhi. Uh, one cinema house which was in the diplomatic enclave, Chanakipuri area, in fact that was the most popular cinema house uh, people used to go to at that time. So quality of people is also important. So accessibility means that. And finally, the, 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 we look at the interaction interaction with the service organization. You interact with different things like you interact with the waiting system, billing system, delivery system, servicing system, recovery system. Think about yourself that when you go to a restaurant, you place the order. In how much time you want the order to be served to you? That is the waiting system I'm referring to. Once you finish the meal, meal, you indicate to the order taker, can we have the check please, can we have the bill please? The fellow brings the bill. You offer, you give the credit card. How much time you want? In how much time you want that fellow to come back to you? They give you a whole lot of things to eat, uh, those soft and elaichi and other things. But would you like to spend more than three minutes or five minutes? And this is these are the systems we we are referring to. And service organization has to develop these systems. And they are actually an integral part of the market offer. So therefore, friends, I summarize that your service market offer is nothing but uh, around the core, you develop facilities, facilitating services and support services. And then you look at accessibility, interaction, and the customer participation. And that you supplement with the corporate image and, and the word of mouth. What is the meaning of corporate image? Uh, corporate positioning, that is something we will discuss in the subsequent interactions. But uh, the, uh, I would like to stop here uh, and uh, we will have more discussions. Um, uh, if there are questions, we will take up the questions. Okay, as you discussed, the, these are the different areas, the core, primary, to periphery and all this. So a student who are uh, doing a diploma or a degree in the service uh, market, services marketing, so uh, they are managing, uh, they are uh, in fact taught in all these areas or there are other people, I mean, general practitioner like in the medicine, uh, we have MBBS, then the specialist. 
so um, uh, first have the um, uh, general degree and then go for the special license so that a better um, uh, atmosphere could be created what is the um, uh, way of uh, looking at the things. Yeah, student, how to pursue the career as specialized? Uh, yeah, uh, it's a very um, uh, practical question. Uh, majority of the students are stuck uh, at that uh, choice. One is uh, whether they should be a journalist or it should be they should be a specialist. Uh, it's uh, actually an era of specialization. Uh, one should gradually move from being a journalist to uh, a specialist because it's an era of specialists. Uh, even if you look at uh, chefs in the restaurants, uh, somebody who is a Indian cook, Indian chef, may not get a high, very high salary. But if he is a French or Italian uh, chef, he may get a very high salary. And that is where uh, a specialist, it's an era of specialization. If you are a general medicine practitioner, versus a, a, a cardiac surgeon. A cardiac surgeon will have much greater kind of, uh, you know, uh, higher salary packages and so on. So there is no discussion. Uh, similarly, even journalism. Uh, journalism has different kind of lines. But economic journalists, they get much better salary packages. They who can actually uh, carry, uh, rather than the political uh, journalism or social journalism. Uh, social journalism and political journalism, uh, everyone can get into. But uh, international relations and economic journalism, there are two uh, uh, areas which are highly specialized. And uh, there, the, you know, even the compensation packages are very high. Uh, when you look at the, even the economic times, at the price of the economic times as a newspaper mm -hmm. is much higher than the ordinary newspaper. So that is uh, the answer and I, to all the youngsters, I would only have this advice, sooner or later, start looking at how can I complement my background and add on and become a specialist in a particular domain. And this is era era of specialization. Uh, please think in those lines and not be uh, a journalist. Yeah, but the choice is very uh, difficult to make because uh, 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 market demands different, the uh, inner consensus demands uh, different things. So, given this kind of situation, what a uh, student should do? Look, uh, uh, I strongly feel that what you like to do uh, really may not uh, exist, may not be possible. Uh, for example, if I want to be a, a painter, uh, and I think I, I, I can very be a very good painter. How successful I will be, uh, what is the market, whether people value that kind of a uh, painting or not. Uh, yes, and how many years it will take me. A uh, lot of, um, I mean, it's very interesting to see that, uh, uh, particularly I'm just giving two examples uh, of the background singers, and they are singers now. Uh, and they, uh, one is Khel, Kailash Kher and Dilir Mendi, for example. They had, they started their career as a uh, classical, uh, uh, tr uh, they took training in the classical singing and they wanted to be a classical singer, but they realized the classical singer uh, may not get uh, much great uh, recognition. It was better to move to the Bollywood and the popular music. And they shifted to the popular music, and they have, have now become a big, big celebrities, big name in the, that that area. Uh, but they do have a foundation in uh, in the classical music that is to their advantage. Uh, so, so, is, so is the case with many other people who have uh, branched off to uh, popular music, and uh, rather than the classical uh, Indian music. Uh, therefore, I suggest that. Uh, have your foundation, but what you would like to do versus the realities, ground realities are very important. One should always, and that is the first thing we always say in marketing, look at the market, and in that market, where you fit in. Uh, and uh, only then you can be a specialist. Uh, very honestly, I realize that I, as a, you know, in having taken a decision to remain in academics, and um, um, I took a very conscious decision that I will specialize in the area of services sector. 
uh, they didn't happen uh, incidentally. Uh, it was a very conscious decision. Okay. Way back I took when I realized that the service sector is growing. Very few people appreciate that service sector will grow at, at that time. Okay. And I realized that uh, I must do a book. And way back in 93, uh, 21 years ago, I did the book when the service sector was contributing very limited to our GDP. Okay. So, well, friends, with this word, we conclude the lecture. I thank all of you for watching the lecture. And on behalf, I thank Dr. Ravi Shankar for giving such an insightful lecture. Thank you. Very much.